Hello guys, this is the Axon Files and today I will be teaching you how to make your very own program on your calculator. So let's get started now. So anytime you want to catch up on something I've typed, you can just look down here at the key press history. Okay, so now let's go to program and let's create the new and I'll show you the basics of creating a program. So you can call your program anything. Let me just call this program test. Okay. So now, okay, so now you make your program. So you can, there's a bunch of functions, mainly under the program. You can click program again. So let's start with the prompt function. So prompt, so let's say you put prompt, let's, you can prompt for any one, like, letter or variable. Let's say I want to prompt for X. So if you prompt X, and let's say, let's go back to program, now let's run the program. It'll ask you what X is. So you can see like eight, and then, Later on, you can use that X value in your program. So it's like, look, so let's say that, so, so let's say that X plus one. And so right here is a store button, S-T-O slot, uh, arrow. Basically, it's like storing your value as another variable. So let's store this as Y. So basically, it just means that Y equals X plus one. So now let's quit and program, enter, test. So let's say x, x equals, let's say, 8. So then y must equal 9. Yep. So now let's go back to edit. Let's edit test. So that's how you use the prompt function. So now let's do a different function. Um, let, let me show you how the input function works. So let's go to program, i slash o. So input now. Input. Basically, you can use like actual questions like what is X instead of just X. It makes it makes the program look nicer, but it takes a it actually takes a bit longer. So input, you had to put in quotes and let's say in quotes. Let's say what is X? What is X? So then you you put in your question what is x and then you have to put like comma and then what your variable is like so what if you're asking what x is you should probably store that as a variable x so whatever they say x is it'll be stored under the variable x right here so hold on um so it gets stored under the variable as x Okay, so then now let's t let's run this and let's see what happens. So what happens is what is x? Let's just say it's eight, and that's exactly what happens. And then you can do the same thing with it, except this just looks a lot fancier. You can add like question marks and like spaces and all that stuff to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, that's the basics of the input function. So now let's go to edit. So as in every basic language, such as like Python or JavaScript even calculator programs, you there's an if, then, or an else statement. So then, what you have to do, if you want to do if, like let's say, if x is equal to, uh, x is equal to is under second math, equal to zero, then, then basically just do like, uh, x plus, one and you store that as y then okay store that as y so then you can basically now you after every if statement you have to put stop like um stop my bad stop is right here stop so basically that ends the if statement and so you can also do like if else statements so if else, so basically, if x is equal to zero, this happens. Otherwise, if it's not equal to zero, this happens. But you always have to put a stop. Otherwise, anything you put under the if statement will count as under actually under the if statement until you put stop. But obviously, this this program won't work right now because I haven't defined x yet. Okay, so now let's try a different function. So let's go to program. One of the one of the most important functions you'll see in calculator programs is a menu. 
a menus help in like let's say you're trying to program the Pythagorean theorem. So if you want to find like the hypotenuse, you can find that. Or if you want to, you can also find a leg. You can use a menu for that. Let's say menu. Menus take a long time because you have it's a, actually a long text. So menu. Let's go up here to menu. Menu. So menu. So you have to put in quotes. Like uh what do you so if let's say you're doing Pythagorean theorem, you can do like what? What do you want to find? If you want to see the full Pythagorean theorem program, you can check it out on our YouTube channel, Axon Files. So let's end this now. What do you want to find? Then basically you can do comma hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Let's just abbreviate it HYP for now, just for time's sake. Uh, okay, hype. So now, is this is important after every like like after you put in like like the title of your menu you have to put in like um the two like the like the labels underneath it which you can click on like the different options so after each option you have to put a number so like uh hyp um so no wait hyp has to be in quotes so HIP has to be in quotes. Okay, so. Okay. So now let's do this. So HIP comma one comma, let's say leg. L-E-G. L-E-G. Uh, 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 that has to be in quotes too, my bad. L E. G. So then you put a comma again, and then you can put two. So basically now, what you can do is you can go to program and go to nine, which is label. So labels are basically the options of your menu. So like your options are HYP or leg. So you can, the number after each, each option is the label number. So like in this case, if you want to, the, anything under hypotenuse will be label one. Okay, so you'll get this later. Let me let me try to run it really quick. So test. So this is what'll happen. What do you want to find? Hypotenuse or leg? So whatever you click under, whatever you put under label one in your program, like in your program. So like in your program, whatever you put under label one will go under hypotenuse. Like if you want a prompt for variables. So basically it just, Technically, just two separate programs, except it's just connected by a menu. Okay, so let's try a different function now. So, these are the main things you need to know for a program. So, also, you can use, like, clear home, which is under i slash o, which basically, if you have, like, look, if you have anything like program test here, it'll just clear it to make your program look nicer when you start running it. But that, then again, it's not actually necessary for your program. It just makes it look better. So then, let's see. Uh, another another thing we can discuss is a display. Display is also one of the important um, functions. And I think it's, well, it's basically how you display your answer. Okay, so now display, you can just display like a specific variable. Like you can just display display x. Oh my bad. You can just display X, but also you can also display like in quotes, like in quote, your answer is, and then you end the quotes, then comma X. Let's just abbreviate it as your answer is Y A I. Y A I. Like your answer is, your answer is, then comma, whatever variable you have. Let's just so let's say x 
this is how it works so how it'll run is hold on so what you need to do first you need to obviously define x so let's do here x equals no x three store as x so now the display functions work like this so let's go to program let's execute test so why it's like y a i then three so then also there's like semicolons question marks spaces here and let's go back to program let's edit our test so let's go back to program and see some more functions so you can also execute some programs in your program like you can go to exec and you can execute a program in your program currently this is the only program i have in my calculator but if you had other programs you can insert them in there and this will be useful for like if you have a very big program and then you don't want to like overload it with space you can make separate programs and import it in so that it doesn't look all like cramped or crowded in one program so then um, there's also like uh, another the other uh, so I think the last one we're gonna discuss is um, end so and the end function basically you just put it at the end of your program it uh, it just like stops the program in the end and it just goes back to the home screen well so i mean that's it that's basically all the basics of uh, making a program and you can make any basics programs like for some math functions that you need in class such as pythagorean theorem distance formula midpoint formula and like maybe in your physics class you have some like like a bunch of formulas you have to remember instead you can just program it into your calculator and then it'll just ask you for the values you can plug them in and it'll give you a result well so that's it for this video thank you for watching the axon files if you enjoyed this video uh consider watching some of our other videos such as our cross product of two vectors video or our distance and midpoint video thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on the axon files